Okay. Uh, okay, where do I start? Um, well, I thought the best way to start is to recreate my first video, which I posted in January. With just different conditions. It's a van life story. It's me, Jack, and it's still my van, Dean. And um, let me get the pop-off roof uh, up because it's really hot today and I think I need some air and some lights. Bear with me. Oh, there you go. Okay, why am I dressed like this? I hear you ask, or maybe not. <laughs> well, okay, let's start at the beginning again. So uh, when I posted my video in, um, in January, I, I asked a serious question uh, by Joan Rivers. Can you remember? Um, can we talk? Can we talk? Well, we're back again. Can we talk? Can we talk? <sighs> Van life. It was winter. I had quit my teaching job and I wanted to explore the world and start van life full time. I wanted to go and find some winter sun in Spain and lead a glorious, happy life. And I did for a while, I have to admit. And if you know my channel or if you've investigated in my channel, you'll see that I, I spent uh, quite a couple of months in, uh, in Spain, in Valencia loved every minute of it and um yeah well then the money ran out basically <laughs> when i i'm an impulsive kind of guy let's put it that way when i decided to quit my job i quit my job and that means that i'm not on benefits or that i don't get any space state support i'm not retired so i don't have a pension i had a bit of money in my savings account and i thought like oh you know those people on YouTube, those van lifers on YouTube and on Instagram, they seem to be doing all right on, on a very small budget. I don't know where they get their money from, but they seem to be doing all right. So I'll be fine as well. And I was fine for a couple of months. And then, you know, a couple of repairs later, and then a broken camera, a lost phone later, I ran out of money. So back to my first video where i it was a cold damp uh, winter night uh, where i left my job and where i left my home country to start my journey i am now back in summer on a hot summer's day where i restarted my job as a teacher it's my <laughs> I say we started. I've been working now for two months and uh, that's why you haven't seen me for a while on, on YouTube. And that's why I think that you probably need an update of what's been going on for the last couple of months. Teaching. There you go. Making money. That's a good one as well. Which is what I'm doing right now and kind of enjoying it, but I'm kind of hating it as well at the same time. The summer break is coming up. And I'm really looking forward to it. I've had a top up on my um, savings account. So we're raring to go. Which brings me back to a couple of points about YouTube, about Instagram, about social media. I think I was kind of uh, led astray a bit and um, I need to set the record straight. It isn't always as easy as people make it sound. And I fell for that trap, to be quite honest. It is lovely. And I keep on telling people, go out there, do it. You just have to do it. There's a channel on YouTube that guides people with their YouTube channel. And their slogan is, you just have to press record. Well, sometimes it's just more than just pressing record. Sometimes it's a bit more than just quitting your job and getting in a van. Sometimes it's just a bit more. And I'm finding that out the hard way, which is part of the learning curve. A, I'm all for it. So A, I'm still growing up, even in my 50s, I still have to learn a lot. But I thought I'd share that with you. Um, I'm still happy in my Dean. I have to admit, while teaching every evening, I would go on YouTube and, and watch some other van lifers leading the life that I wanted to lead. And then I was getting 
um, van MV because I thought like, oh, my van is really, really small. I think I want a bigger one or my van uh, is could do with an upgrade and so on and so forth. But in the end, I'm actually quite happy with my little Dean, so I cannot wait to get out there again. And I have like two possibilities. Now, if you don't live in Europe, you probably weren't aware of this, but winter and spring has been, especially in Northern Europe, has been really, really rainy, gray, dark, cold, nothing that you would expect from a, a, a spring. So everybody was really getting a bit depressed. My pupils were getting a bit restless and annoying, more annoying, let's put it that way. And um, so, but the south of uh, Europe is really, really hot at the moment. It's like extremely hot at the moment. So I have two options. Either I do the Nordic Scandinavian tour for my future travel. I can try the UK, Ireland uh, for uh, a colder and wetter option, let's put it that way. Or let's try Switzerland, Austria, south of Germany. That would be weather-wise also quite okay. So I've got a couple of options which I am actually investigating at the moment trying to map out where to stay, where to go, how to drive, how many kilometers, etc. So I have plans again. I have a bit of money again. So I want to travel again. So that's what I wanted to tell you today. There are also a couple of positive aspects of not spending some time in your van. And that has to do with logistics. One for instance, is to get all the paperwork sorted out. It's not, I don't know how other people do it, I have to admit, but you still have to be domiciled somewhere. And uh, I have a place uh, here where I'm domiciled and where my tax letter the other day arrived, because let's be honest, I still have to pay tax even on the little earnings that I have. And yes, believe it or not, I am monetized on YouTube. And yes, I have made some money on YouTube. I can now reveal that I have made nine euros and 78 cents. Weirdly enough, I have to pay tax on that. So that's another reason maybe to be stationary for a couple of days or a month or so to just get all your paperwork in order. Another thing that happened is that both my ID card and my driver's license were expiring during the summer. Again, this is the perfect opportunity to go to your local um, town hall and get uh, all that paperwork sorted out and to pick up your new driver's license and ID card because even in Europe we still need ID even though I live in the Schengen area I still need ID to get outside the Schengen area for instance. And then another thing that I rarely hear people talk about in YouTube uh, videos is their health care. Another reason to have like at least a fixed abode somewhere is to have your health care plan in order. It's always good to have a yearly or twice yearly checkup 
I, I don't want to show it now, maybe, or maybe I can show it. There you go. Uh, my uh, dermatologist found a little worrying spot, so uh, she cut it out and is now sending it to a lab. So those are those little things that you need to do as well. And I think being a full-time van lifer, that might not be so easy, really. So I am, I am to be quite honest, very happy about my little timeout. It should be only a short timeout. Let's be clear here. But I'm kind of happy that I had my little time out where I could sort out everything. Also family-wise, you know, it's kind of nice to catch up intensely. And I mean intensely with the family. I've now had enough and I feel that I can safely say my goodbyes again. So um, again, so I am happy that I did my little two months here fixed, not driving around. Now, I am working at this really lovely school and uh, I've got some great colleagues. Um, it's a new school to me. And um, to just wrap up this video, I, I, I could only symbolize this with an image that whenever or every day when I went to this particular school, I had to go through a tunnel. And as the old saying goes, there's light at the end of the tunnel. And this, I, I think this is now the case. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Summer has sprung in Northern Europe. I have got some energy again. I am excited about traveling again. So this is what I'm telling you. As of today, you can expect another video every week as I did from January till April, till May even. So you can expect every Sunday a new video with hopefully some exciting news, some exciting adventures. Um, I'll try and make them happen. Can't guarantee anything. But what's the word? I don't know what my young uh, students say anymore. I'm buzzed. Is that a word? I'm hyped. I'm stoked. You know what I mean. Well, uh, it's time to get going, basically. There you go. Boom. By the way, this is where I've been uh, spending my last couple of weeks. Well, it's not gorgeous, but it does the trick. So let me get in and uh, I'll see you. What can I say? Next week. Thank you.